Hello friends, this is Allah, your friendly advisor in Ireland. Welcome back to my channel, All About Ireland. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to apply for a short stay visa. It can be tourist, it can be visa, I mean, visit family visa, it can be multi-entry or single, single entry. This is a process that needs to be followed uh, if you're applying for you know these visas for your friends or for your family. With a further ado, let's just jump in. The step number one involved uh, in getting the you know visa application started is you know visiting the website where the application can be made. Before I go there, uh, I just want to show you a few things uh, that can be helpful. Um, the first thing is the visit website is visas.insis.goe.ie. Uh, there is this AVATS visa summary page where you need to enter a lot of details to get the application done. To make it easier for you to have the application done quicker and with no mistakes, you need to have the passport and all the passports basically, and the numbers and the date of expiry of the person who is, for whom or who is applying for tourist or visit visa. And if there are any issues, any visa refusals in the past, those details need to be there and you need to mention them during the process. If there are any criminal convictions or uh, pending charges, you need to make sure that you know, even those details are entered. If you do not enter any of these details, there is high chance that they have them and you not disclosing those details will make your application be rejected. A lot of people get rejected there. And if there is a host who is providing you accommodation, for example, if you're a tourist, but you're visiting a friend, you can uh, you know, have the details there. Or if you're a tourist with where you are uh, already booked all the accommodation, you need to provide those details. And if you're visiting family or friend here, you can use the host details too. And fifth is itinerary. I mean, the dates you are going to fly to Ireland and the reasons you're flying to Ireland and other details. The good thing is the application uh, will be available for you for 30 days. Uh, you can exit and come back and retry the application, you know. Um, and to do that, you need reference numbers. So don't forget to copy that reference number if you did not complete the application. And once you have that reference number, you can click on retrieve application on this, again, same website. And it will give you a pop-up where you enter the application number and it will bring back all the details that you have entered. The first screen is on the top right that you get when you are applying for the uh, visa, uh, you know, here, I put India, visit family or friend, you know, you can choose with single or multiple visit, the purpose of travel, the passport type is its initial passport if you're not a diplomat or anything else, document number and the proposed dates. I'll quickly show you uh, where the, uh, you know, the within online, where do, you, where do we find the, details like this is the first page uh, i'll just go with xxx um, so if you want multiple entry visa you can choose multiple they are giving multiple entry visa and they give it for six months uh, in any stretch you can only stay for 90 days so after staying in ireland for 90 days you need to go back to your country and come back that's allowed and within the visas the two visas for which i am currently showing you the process is visit tourist visit family or friend okay and the other like business and other things, documentation, documentation will be very similar to what I have in this visa because uh, the application process is valid for all, you know, short stay visas. Um, it should be the similar documentation. Okay, I just gave XXX and, uh, you know, if it's a start state, state visa, stay visa, you need to have proposed dates. And um, for now, I'm just going with uh, some random dates to show you what exactly is there in the forms. Okay, then you basically go click save and continue. And then you enter the phone, surname, last name, you know, the details around date of birth. Those will be your details. And then you move on to uh, your passport details, family details, you know, it goes on like that. And at the end, I think after this page, you'll, you'll get the IRL number that you can use to retrieve. Uh, make sure that you also have the host details uh, in hand primarily because uh, you need to fill a lot of details around that particular piece. Okay. 
the that's the first step get your application filled uh, you can download the application that application is required uh, during the uh, during the application submission at the vfs center and you need to sign that particular thing so first step fill the application have all the details make sure make sure and ensure all the details are correct and then you can move on to the next step the next step can be done at vfsvisaonline.com uh, which is a website run by VFS, VFS Global. Uh, and uh, they actually handle all your documentation. So what, what they do is once you have your documents ready, you go to VFS Global, uh, they take screenshots, I mean, they scan all the documents and give you the documents back and they email all those scanned documents to Irish Embassy in India. So that's, that's what they do. Uh, for that, you need to go to VFS Global, VFS Online, and you know here you, you choose the country of residency this particular link is for only five countries as you see uh, and uh, within that you need to sorry there you need to choose the location uh, we chose hyderabad recently you can if based based on where you are in india you can choose that particular place and it's the same thing for pakistan china and other countries so sorry here yeah, there seems to be some problem um but basically you know here you come here you 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 have the IRL number you input the IRL, IRL number there and it will ask you to choose the services and you pay for the services you get the appointment letter you can choose the time and date when you want to visit VFS uh, for example if you see here I have uh, I have taken a couple of services recently SMS and courier services SMS so it will let you know when the visa application is processed, you know, you get the information around the embassy received your visa. Like you get three to four SMSs. I think they charge 150 or 200 rupees for that. Um, but you can avoid if you're not in a hurry and if you're sure you are going to get your visa processed. We also took courier services. You need not take courier services if you're in the city of the VFS Global Application Center. Do not take check and verify service. Um, if you see this video, this video is enough. You don't waste any further time because the check and serve, verify service is close to 2,800 rupees. That's close to 40 euros, which I wouldn't suggest anyone to spend <laughs> on an application. So step one, you fill the application. Step two, you book the appointment. The step three, which is the main uh, step is you need to prepare the documentation. And these are the documents list, which I have on the screen that, that needs to be done. Uh, if you see here, I try to cover for both visit family and friend as well as the tourist, and I'll clearly tell what the difference is. And for both the visas, which are start state, uh, you need not have travel insurance during the application process. But before you fly, you need to have a travel insurance. I always suggest to have a travel insurance before you fly. And one thing, if in any start stay visa, if you do not show any strong reason for coming back to India you will not have the visa done. Uh, and most of the people get rejected because they do not show any strong reason. That's another reason. The second reason is they do not show strong financials. They visit, they show in the visa that they are going to be there for three months, but the financials may only prove that they stay for 10 days. The hotel charges, the rentals in Ireland are crazy. So you need to have a strong account balance to prove them that you're going back to India or you can sustain yourself in Ireland. First thing first, uh, guest is the person who is coming from India or China or any other country. They need to submit their passport. They need to submit all the pages of their passport copy and two Irish uh, passport size photos. Uh, the supplementary application form. I'll be putting the supplementary application form in the comments. I'll pin it or I'll put it in video description. This form is mandatory for you when you're applying for short stay visa. The AVAT summary sheet is nothing but the application form which you fill on the first step that you need to attach, signed. You need to write a letter uh, to exactly tell why you are traveling, the intention of travel. If you need the intention of travel format, uh, can you you can email me at allaboutireland247 at gmail.com. I'll send it to you. Uh, six months bank statement stamped if it is India and Pakistan and China, um, US and all, you need not even have them stamped. Government ID, any government ID, it can be or ID, it can be other card, it can be social security number, you know, different IDs in different countries. 
And if you have a partner in India or kids in India, you need to submit one of the government IDs of those kids or partners. The reason is uh, you need to show that you have a strong reason to come back to India. And that is one of the strong reasons. If tourists, if you're coming to Ireland as a tourist, you need to have your hotel bookings done. You need to have flight tickets done. You need to have complete itinerary done. So you'll be spending a lot of money upfront for tourist visa. I mean, the little trick you can do is you can book the tickets, reserve the tickets rather than book them, reserve the hotel booking, confirm them only when you get the visa. That's the best way. And that's a trick every everyone does. And if you're visiting a family or friend and uh, from host and again, if you're in Ireland watching this video, supporting your friends and family to come to Ireland on short stay visa, make sure that you send all these documents to them. Passport, all pages copy and the invitation letter that you are inviting such and such person, such and such states, they'll be staying with you for such and such reason. Uh, I have the template for invitation letter too. So you can email me at all about Ireland at 24 7 gmail.com uh, utility bill pay slips uh, employment reference letter irp card copy six months online bank statement you need not have stamp online statement will do p21 statement of liability uh, tax credit certificate accommodation travel finance plan another word document where you are mentioning uh, you know the travel plan accommodation the finance plan of your uh, friend or family if they are if you are you know sponsoring them if you're not sponsoring them this document needs to be submitted by uh, your family or friend. Yeah, this is the extensive list of documents. Yeah, <laughs> we submitted all documents. Uh, they took all the documents. Usually they think some documents are unnecessary. They give it back. They did not give anything back. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. You know, make, If you show strong documentation, you should be good. If you ask me with respect to how much money should I show in the account and all, uh, what we did was um, uh, we showed close to 10K euros in my wife's account. And you know, her mother's, there was one lakh. They were fine with that. Uh, they did not have any problem processing the visa. So that's it. Uh, one last thing is, you know, if you click on join button, you can become a member of my YouTube channel. There are a few benefits for members and all the proceeds from membership will be used towards uh, HRT in Ireland or India. Hope you join the community. And you know, if you have any career-related queries, please do write to connect at careerisland.com. I'll put all the details in the video description. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this has helped you. Enjoy.